Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Fairtex BGL G2 Glory Edition kickboxing gloves. So check it out. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Fairtex BGL G2 Glory Edition kickboxing gloves. You can get this from fairtexstore.com. I got mine in the black and gold colorway in 16 ounces and Velcro closure. You can also get this in lace up, size wise, anywhere between eight to 18 ounces. And they also have this in a white and black colorway. So two colorways to choose from, um, the two traditional closures and several different sizes to choose from just depending on what you're going to be using these gloves for. Now, to me, this is a collaboration glove between Fairtex and Glory Kickboxing. And I believe Glory is the largest kickboxing promotional company in the world. They've had many notable fighters uh, fight under Glory, Sanchai, uh, Liam Harrison, and so many others that have fought for Glory. So this is a very nice rep representation of the relationship between um, you know, the organization of Glory and the Fairtex company and obviously Fairtex having such a huge name in Thai kickboxing and traditional kickboxing around the world. So uh, it's really nice to see um, them come together and put out this kind of product. Now, uh, this glove is handmade in Thailand. Uh, like the vast majority, if not all Fairtex products, they use 100% uh, genuine leather construction. And if you're wondering if this is a Thai style glove or more of a traditional uh, boxing style glove or a hybrid to me this is more on the traditional boxing side um, in terms of just the overall profile of the glove and the features that it has compared to a tie style glove which we'll, we'll break down here in a second so design wise I'd say the glove is I'd say medium in height and width it's not an overly uh, long glove where you have an extended cuff and it's not overly wide as well so to me in terms of the size and the profile of the glove I believe it's the perfect size uh, you can see that it has this really cool design that you don't really see in many other gloves if any gloves uh, and it kind of has like a floral design to it and that gold looks really sharp it has fair text that goes diagonally on the back of the glove and you can see the design extends into the thumb over the back of the hand compartment and on the sides right here all the way to the fingertip compartment. So you have that black and gold design uh, that goes throughout. And to be honest, I think it looks really cool. I think it looks really unique and it has a, a very um, distinct look. And I actually got a couple of compliments on these gloves when I was using them in training. Um, the leather itself has a satin finish to it, very high grade leather. Uh, same type of leather you find in other Fairtex products. So if you have used Fairtex gloves before, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, it utilizes multi-layer foam construction. The density of the foam, I'd say, is right in the middle. It's medium. It's not overly soft, and it's not extremely firm. So it's right in the middle, um, and it really makes for a really nice training glove. So if you're looking to do heavy bag work, hit the mitts, do you know, hit the double end bag, do some sparring, um, then you'll definitely be satisfied with these. Uh, you do have a, a full length attached thumb that goes all the way from uh, this little V corner all the way to the thumb right there. And you can see that the thumb kind of rolls in uh, so that when you do make a fist, it prevents any kind of thumbing. Um, a nice large grip bar that feels really good. It's not overly stiff and not soft. Um, you can push down on it and it's definitely pronounced and you can feel it there. Um, there is no ventilated holes on the palm or thumb. so. I did feel like my hands got a little bit warm in here, but again, when I'm training, I'm not really concerned about how sweaty or hot I am, to be honest with you. It just kind of comes with the territory. Um, you can see that the, the black leather on here has that nice uh, satin finish and the double stitching as well. Um, you do have the half Velcro strap, uh, which is about three and a half inches that wraps around, does say 16 ounces in gold right there. Uh, handmade in Thailand, which is the seal that you get on all Fairtex products and a lot of other brands from Thailand use the same type of seal. It's something they're proud of, just like gloves that are made in Mexico. They're very proud of their tradition and, and they want to put their seal of approval. You also have the Glory logo on the back of the Velcro strap right there as well to let you know about the collaboration with this glove. And the inside uses the standard 
polyester nylon liner. You have, I'd say about a half an inch of pretty firm density foam padding that goes up to right here, it tapers off. And on this side, you have the same thickness all the way to right about here. Uh, unlike a lot of tie style gloves, you don't actually have any type of padding over the palm area or on this edge right here. Sometimes you get extended padding on this edge to help parry or to block uh, strikes, whether it's punches, kicks, knees, elbows, you typically have that. So to me, this is a little bit more like a traditional boxing glove. You don't have an overload of padding on the palm side of the glove. Uh, and you also have about almost an inch of padding of the same density on the back of the wrist and it's pretty firm right there. Quality of the gloves are fantastic. Um, honestly, I've never really had a bad quality Fairtex product. You know, leather looks fantastic. The stitching is done very nicely. Um, you know, these are all handmade, so you can see the, the level of detail they put into it. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I mean, obviously the, the design is one thing, but the quality is another. The symmetry between the left and the right glove is, is on point. Um, the foam they use in the inside of the hand compartment doesn't feel cheap, it compresses nicely. Uh, the weight of these gloves I, were about, I believe the left glove was at 15 ounces and the right glove, if I can recall, was at like 15.6 or 15.5. Um, so they're a little bit underweight, but not terribly too much. Um, you know, not something that you would be able to really tell when you're using the gloves, but uh, when I did weigh them, they were a little bit underweight. And you can see the stitching looks great on the palm. Velcro strap looks nice. Uh, everything looks really good and sharp throughout the entire glove and the distribution of weight is done really nicely. So uh, it's not a top heavy glove where you have a lot of sagging and obviously that has to do with the wrist support and making sure that the glove is made uh, structurally sound, if that makes sense. That sounds more like an engineering term when you're building a building or something like that, but it's kind of true to come, you know, kind of stays true when it comes to boxing gloves as well. You want to have, a glove that feels like it's evenly distributed. Uh, so when you put it on, it feels nice and um, and even and balanced. So you can see the balance is really uh, nice in that regard. Uh, comfort, sliding your hand into the glove. And anytime I say that, I'm, I'm always gonna be having hand wraps on for the most part. The only time I don't wear hand wraps with gloves is if I'm wearing um, bag mitts. And traditionally I don't do that because I like the feeling of my, you know, like my knuckles piercing through. But any other type of glove, I'm always using hand wraps. So uh, with this being a 16 ounce glove, um, the hand compartment is pretty much the perfect side. I'd say that is maybe a tad on the large side. And, uh, but it's not, that's not necessarily a bad thing because Fairtex offers so many different sizes all the way down at eight ounces. So I feel that because they offer so many different sizes, they're afforded to be able to make a little bit larger hand compartments to accommodate people with bigger hands and longer fingers, which is really, really good. Um, if I were to do it all over again, if I wanted a little bit more of a snugger fit, I'd probably go with a 14 ounce glove, but these, these 16 ounces uh, fit really good as well. Um, it just has a little bit of extra room in the glove. Uh, the thumb positioning is perfect. So when I make a fist, you can see there is no pull down on the, um, the, the tip of the thumb. Um, the actual placement of the, my thumb is perfect. The piping right here did not pinch down on my thumb, which is nice. Uh, that's one of those, like, kind of like those pet peeves that I have is if this piping right here on the thumb is too tight, I, I just hate that because it cuts off the circulation in my thumb and in my hand. Uh, but the positioning is good. Uh, nice deep finger compartment. You can see the width of it is really good. It's not too rounded, so you do have a, a good amount of width in there and it's not too narrow to where you feel like your, your fingers are kind of crowding and kind of pushing against each other. Um, one thing I would have liked to have uh, seen or had them do is add a piece of uh, neoprene or, or a padding to cover the stitching on the finger compartment because you could definitely feel that. Um, and another thing is that polyester nylon liner has a little bit of bunching in this section of the hand compartment. Um, so just something streamlined, you know, it would be nice to maybe if they went with more of like a tricot style liner so you avoid that bunching up. Uh, but the thumb position is good. The This region in the hand uh, compartment is a good size too. Sometimes this feels kind of restrictive when you're wearing a glove and it just feels tight. 
uh, but with this, even with my hand wraps on, it felt really nice and I didn't feel like any of my circulation was getting cut off. You can see that I can open and close my hand relatively easy. It does take some breaking in. Um, it's not a completely soft broken in glove, so there's definitely gonna be a break in period. And obviously that'll happen using this for more rounds of sparring, hitting the bag, whatever it may be. And that will definitely soften up both the padding and the leather over time. The wrist support feels really good as well. Um, feels pretty solid, obviously it's not gonna be as supportive as, as some other bag gloves that have like a wrist lock system like what Rival uses and some, funny, some other companies like ratcheting systems. Uh, but for a training glove, it, it does its job. So overall, uh, I'm really satisfied um, with the comfort of this glove. Uh, protection and performance, um, this is a balanced glove. So to me, when they made this, they basically wanted to be able to use this as a glove that you can do relatively everything in the gym with. So. You're doing sparring with your sparring partner, you're hitting the bag, hitting the mist, whatever it may be. Um, that's what, to me, these were intended for. Um, you definitely get a good crack out of these. Um, you can feel your knuckles kind of pierce through. Um, it does a decent job of absorbing shock, um, but I definitely like using this for heavy bag work. You get a good pop and bang out of these gloves. You can feel yourself land on those two front knuckles. Um, when you land a punch with this, you're just like, the vast majority, if not all gloves, you do have a little bit of shifting inside. So you move your hand, the momentum of your hand moving forward. You can feel it shift a little bit, but not enough to where your, your thumb ends up jamming into the tip of the glove or the, the thumb compartment. So overall, really satisfied with how these feel uh, when I'm using them. Cost wise, these gloves are $119 to me. Again, I've always said it before and I'll say it again, that to me, tie gloves, are probably the best bang for the buck uh, when it comes to um, boxing gloves in general. And, and to me, that's like the combination of, between the quality that they put into the gloves, um, the design, your overall look, um, and just the performance. You're really getting a great glove for the price of 119. I mean, this to me, this is a glove that if you charged $200 for, you could still justify that because there's gloves in that $200 range that uh, in terms of quality and performance are very similar, if not the same as these gloves, in my opinion. It just really comes down to personal preference and comfort, the type of liner, the aesthetics of the gloves, um, and there's other factors. But overall, for $119, I think it's a great glove. Um, you know, if you really like the design, you like the collaboration between Glory and Fairtex, you like that gold on the black with that kind of that floral design, then you can't really go wrong with these. So. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. Put the link in the description box where you can find these Fairtex Glory Edition boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.